Welcome back everybody. So it's not very often I do YouTube videos on a weekend, but there is a reason for this is that I've been made aware that there is a promo clip for the second half of Gotham. Now the first half of season four, I actually really, really did enjoy and I love the show Gotham itself. The only problem I've got is, is that I'm a little bit late reacting to this, six days late reacting to this corner to this video, um, which I'm a little bit annoyed about, I have to admit. But even still, um, I've also been reading that Fox still haven't um, made the decision whether they're going to cancel or renew this, um, renew Gotham for season, for another season, season five. Fingers crossed, hopefully they do, because I do believe that this show has a lot more potential. Now, moving back onto this clip, they've named it See Your Own Darkness. And the person that told me to react to this said, as I am a Batman fan, you will love this promotional clip. So, let's get into it. I told you, you are trapped in a prison. And I'm offering you a see you Well, look at what's coming on Gotham. I think I saw who I really am. I've oh. seen my own darkness. You have to go around you. Be careful. Oh, really? Don't fight this alone. Trust us. Careful, Jim. Sometimes we go looking for things we don't want to find. If I go down, so will you. You still think you know what I will and won't do? I'll be coming for you, bitch! Woo! I need help. That's really why you came to me. Sorry. Sometimes that's enough. Damn. You really are nuts. The best cure is the laughing cure. Make me laugh. I will not. <laughs> I want an APB on Ivy Pepper. Finding her is our top priority. First, I was a seed. Then Sprout. Now I've learned. That is so Gotham. You have no idea what's really going on in your company, do you? Billionaire boy. Ivy. I'm going to make miracles happen. Who's there? Show yourself! I am the one you cannot save. <laughs> the one you cannot kill. You. Let's make Gotham our bitch. Now we're talking. Gotham yeah, now we're talking. Thursday, March 1st on Fox. Thank you for waiting. Yeah. I need to find a creme de la crazy. Which is why I need you. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so much fun together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Um... There's quite a lot to take in there. So, um... Yeah, I'm on board. That's all I'm going to really say. No, I'm not going to just say that. Um, so, first of all, the Bruce Wayne bit. This the first, obviously, was going to be the first thing I go to because I am that excited. Um, so, by the looks of this, um, Ivy gets reborn again. Um, but this time she's a lot stronger and she has a few more um, powers to her. By the looks of it, when I want to take a stab, I mean I could be wrong, but I want to take a stab at that when she kisses Bruce Wayne, she sends him into like kind of a dream sequence where he kind of sees the potential future for Gotham and the potential on who he is going to become, which obviously is the Batman, which you did kind of see a little bit of a glimpse in that. Not, It's more of a shadow, but it suggests the dream sequences that that it's coming, and I cannot wait. Um, generally, <laughs> really, really looking forward to that, because it, um, because at the end of the first half of the season, obviously you saw Bruce Wayne getting drunk a lot, Alfred got fired, and he was in a really, really dark place, so I gather that Ivy is going to be the person to shake him out of that um, kind of, or bring him out of that dark place that he's in, to try and get him back on track, because Razal Ghul, even though Razal Ghul's gone for now, 
because I did see him at the end of this promo. Um, there are other things in Gotham that need to be fought as well, which I actually generally do like. Uh, the other ones are the villains in this. Um, by the looks of it, obviously, Jerome is back and he teams up with the Penguin. That would be an interesting pair up. Um, also, the Riddlers in there, Grundy and all that, which I'm all still generally... I'm just really, really looking forward to seeing how this second half of this season is going to play out. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, this this series has a lot more potential to it. I mean, even, even though I enjoyed the first half of the season, there were a couple of episodes which were a bit limp-wristed for me, but generally the first half of the season I actually really did enjoy, so I'm kind of hoping that the second half of the season kind of makes up for the... Well, it's going to make up for... If, if this pans out the way I want, or hoping that it's going to pan out, then it's going to be a, a great second half of the season, which hopefully will prompt the fifth season, which I believe it deserves. So, hopefully, fingers crossed... Fingers crossed. The only other bugbear I got with this is I didn't see the Scarecrow. Um, the Scarecrow is in one of my favourite villains uh, in the Batman universe and he's got a lot of poten potential and yet we've only seen him at the start of season four. So hopefully they might make him, um, might bring him back towards the, near the end. I'm kind of predicting there might be a really big villain um, kind of team up together in Gotham. That's what I'm predicting. I could be completely wrong but... That's what I'm honestly thinking myself. Um, but like I said, generally, really looking forward to the second half of the season. I've got the 1st of March. Uh, Thursday, the 1st of March. I'll probably be watching it on the Friday morning afterwards. But even still, I'll get back into my episode reviews on Gotham when it starts again. So on that note, please tell me what you think. And put it in the comments down below. Tell me, are you looking forward to the second half of this season? Or if you're not looking forward to the second half of the season, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, please take care and goodbye.